As summer winds down and the seasons begin to change, now is the time to look back at how Americans spent their summer traveling and what they're looking forward to experiencing in the fall. Joining us now to talk travel and hosting trends is the communications lead for North America at Airbnb, Liz DeBold Fusco. Thanks for joining us, Liz. Thanks so much for having me. How big of an economic opportunity did the summer of 2021 provide for Airbnb hosts? Yeah, you know, we kicked off the summer and shared how after a year of isolation, consumers were eager to begin traveling again. And, you know, travel they did this summer. Actually, a few weeks ago, Airbnb reached our biggest night ever in the U.S. and our biggest night globally since the pandemic began with more than four million guest arrivals uh, staying on Airbnb. And that's created a lot of opportunity for our host community. This past summer, U.S. hosts on Airbnb collectively earned more than $1.3 billion. And, you know, we've seen a lot of areas across the country have been especially profitable for new hosts. So people have begun sharing their home during the pandemic. For instance, in the Poconos, uh, new hosts have earned $3.5 million uh, in the first half of the year. In California, new hosts in Los Angeles earned $6.2 million. Um, it's actually one of the reasons why we've created a new host onboarding process to make it easier than ever before to become a host. And how did Americans spend their summer vacations? Yeah, so we really saw that people were looking to get outside, which makes sense. Again, after a year of isolation, we've all been trapped by our own four walls in many ways. And so we saw that families were looking to escape to remote destinations from big cities, for instance. And people were booking uh, destinations near national state parks, the Great Lakes, White Sand Beaches, places where you could get outside and really enjoy some fresh air. And interestingly, heading into fall, what we're seeing is that people are going from travel in uh, rural areas to returning to large to mid-sized cities. Um, so people are looking to, to get back to urban areas after being outside for most of the past year. Will the return of big events drive fall travel? Yeah, so as I was mentioning, we are really seeing that cities are some of the top destinations for fall. And one of the reasons why is because big events are coming back and guests are eager to enjoy them. And so some of our top trending destinations for fall are cities that are welcoming back some sports events or music festivals. For instance, we have the Made in America Festival coming up in Philadelphia, Astroworld Festival in Houston, the Ryder Cup in Wisconsin. All of these events, when they announce that they were returning generated a big uptick in searches from guests um, for accommodations in the local area, showing that there's really tremendous opportunity for hosts in those areas to open up their homes and welcome people coming for these big events, as, as well as big opportunity for the local economies. Where can we go and get more information? Yep, you can go to uh, airbnb.com to plan your trip, or if you're interested in maybe sharing your home for a big event or for some fall travel, you can go to airbnb.com slash host to get started as an Airbnb host. Liz, thanks so much for all of these tips. The Jet Set will be right back.